Hey guys, it's Bill Sylvia from Man in Black Review Show here. Uh, I just got back from watching Woman in Black. I still plan to do a real review, but I've got some comments and such to make that aren't really going to make it into the review, so I thought I'd do a vlog. Uh, first off, I'm probably going to name this post Reason Number One Why PG-13 Horror is a Travesty. And that reason is Pardon me for being a little emotional, but that reason is that teenagers in a movie theater all need to die a burning, horrible death. I'm serious, because this was a good movie, and I wanted to walk out 15 minutes in because I was so pissed off at people screaming every time something slightly, almost creepy happened, or every time there was a jump scare or an almost jump scare people screaming at the top of their lungs I, I was this close to being the Lorax from that commercial um those of you who don't watch AMC might not have this commercial but basically the Lorax who speaks for the trees from Dr. Seuss stands up and speaks for the audience and basically tells people shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down uh, here's our guest host. Get, no, no. If you're gonna call, go on camera, you're gonna be for the camera. Here's our guest host, Striper. He wants to be here tonight. Apparently not on camera, just blocking it. So, this was probably, first of all, the second most crowded theater I've ever been in. The first was Halloween 2007. And I was 19, and I didn't really give much of a fuck. I went with a girl that I wanted to spend time with. She was a friend of mine who I already knew, you know, it pretty much clearly wasn't a date, but it's still at the same time, single and a little hopeful. You know, that stage in my life. Sorry, I had to do an edit there. I can't really ignore work phone calls unless I want my store to burn to the ground. Uh, where was I? can't remember the sentence I was on, but there was this one girl, probably maybe two rows ahead of me, a bit to the left, just to the point where I couldn't quite place where she was, kept screaming, oh my god, every time something happened. Like, oh my god, I'm going to punch you in the back of the head so you have a reason to scream, oh my god. Like, I cannot express in words that I can probably put on blip without chasing away what little audience I have, how pissed off I was. I mean, I'm to the point where I can't even quantify this movie and give it an honest rating because all I can think about is how pissed off I was through most of the so, you know, the so-called creepy scenes. I'm not saying that they weren't creepy. I'm saying that they weren't creepy to me because all of the creepiness was dispelled by people being loud as shit and wanting me to fucking punch them in the face. A little calm. I'm a little calmer right now because this is the third time I've talked about it. So I've gotten a little bit out of my system. I'm having a beer. I'm at home. And there's nobody to punch in the fucking face. So I'm a little calmer. All I can say is I better not see anybody between the ages of 13 and 17 right now that is loud because I might punch them in the face. Um, on to the movie itself. All right. <laughs> some of the comments <laughs> that aren't making the review. Some of them might. Some of them might. It's a prologue to Insidious in which Harry Potter and the Victorian era has apparently already had children. Ginny has died. And he has gone on to fight the woman who will become the antagonist in the not yet made or probably not yet filmed but pretty much probably pitched by someone uh, prequel to Insidious. If you don't know what I mean you probably haven't watched Insidious but um, there's that lady it's pretty much the same lady she's a jump scare lady that was my main problem with the trailers was that 
there were too many jump scares in them. And I agree. I mean, I definitely think this movie would have been better without some of the jump scares. Um, it wasn't all jump scares. And some of the jump scares were very well done. I'm not going to say they weren't. Um, if I was watching it by myself, well, I'm not going to say, in a less crowded, in a quieter theater, they probably would have gotten to me a lot more. Some of them were just unnecessary. Uh, for example, the woman in black, spoilers from here, the woman in black basically has a truce of sorts, not really spoken of as such, but she has to jump scare in the meantime. You know, it's like, oh, I'm I'm not going to kill you, but I need to jump scare the shit out of you so everyone thinks you're dead, because, you know, it, jump scares are cool. But I'm getting off topic, because when Harry Potter, with his one facial... He, he does his one facial expression very well in this movie. Acts it just as well as the Harry Potter movies. He's very familiar with that one facial expression, and... Just like the Harry Potter movies, he does crack an awkward smile at the end. You know, what, what can you say? It's, it's him. Um, but his dead wife comes at the end because she's kind of a counterpart to the woman in black. She's the woman in white. And uh, she's not Jenny. Um, sorry, I mean, I feel like I feel like I really need to be speaking in Phelan... F F uh, Phelis or the cinema or not the cinema snob itself but in Brad Jones's voice for some of these but it's like that's not Ginny she's blonde so yeah I, I, I got the jokes out of my system that I'm probably not making because my reviews have comedy in them but they're not comedy reviews and I'm not trying to rip off Phelis even for one review especially since I already have a joke planned that doesn't really work with some of these other jokes. Um, is there anything else I want to say in this vlog that, other than what's actually going in my review? Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, if there's another PG-13 horror movie, uh, I might not go opening weekend, especially on a Saturday night. That shit was. I mean, the whole building was fucking packed. I think that's really the only reason why the movie itself was packed, because the whole everything was packed. But I do not want a good movie tainted with fucking loud ass teenagers. Um, if I went to the nine o'clock showing, it might have been better. But at nine o'clock, that building was still just as packed as it was at seven. So I kind of doubt it. Um, if I had snuck booze in like I did for Insidious, I. No, I probably would have cussed somebody out in the middle of the in the middle of the movie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, otherwise, what can I say? Other than what I've pretty much clearly already disagreed with, you can, well, kind of disagreed with. Um, I agree with everything that the ho uh, the horror guru said in his vlog. If you haven't seen that yet, otherwise. I'm going to write my review and probably post it sometime next week. Usually it takes me about a week and a half to get these new release reviews, mainly because cutting content from trailers is a bitch and a half. Um, all right, I'm still not, hunt okay. I really, not sure if this is gonna end up in the review because this is more comedic, but basically what's going on is the woman in black is Freddy Krueger if she killed by The Happening. That's right. This is kind of The Happening done right. And when I say Freddy Krueger via The Happening, she kind of gets awakened. Well, I, okay. I already said there are going to be spoilers. She kind of gets awakened when people go to her house or go to her property and see her. So she decides, I'm going to murder a child but she's a ghost she, she can't just walk up and choke the shit out of you um although she can do some creepy stuff but her main power it seems is mind control of children and the way she mind controls children is the happening 
If you haven't seen M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening, mm, I recommend checking it out on a rental at least once. Netflix it. Uh, it's supposed to be serious. It's more kind of funny. Um, if The Happening was stripped to deadly seriousness and, you know, directed as a real horror movie, this would be a lot of what it is. Really, the... But what's really effective about this is pretty much, should I even say pretty much, all of the violence is aimed at children. Well, of course it's the happening, so it's suicide, but it's children. So you're watching child suicides in a PG-13 movie. I think the cat wants out one second. But in that way, it's sort of really gets to the line to what is acceptable uh definitely couldn't be pg there's not there's not much gore to speak of there's some blood which probably would mm, the way it's presented might have helped with the pg-13 there's a little bit of gore but i'm talking more scenes like watching a watching a girl light herself on fire that's the type of shit we're talking about. With that, I think I'm going to end this vlog for another day. Until then, protecting mankind from the scum of the universe, Man in Black out.